Hello, I'm Lee Morrison. Welcome back to Bespoke Addict YouTube channel. I'm going to be um, beginning a long overdue restoration of this rather fantastic, um, it's an alligator skin uh, gentleman's gladstone. Um, it dates from around about 1880 and um, despite its great age, I actually use this bag every day. Um, I, travel, I travel quite a lot between two homes and um, so whichever of, 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 of the, my places I'm at, this bag's always with me, it gets pushed in the boot of the car. Um, it's not in the best of condition, it wasn't in particularly great condition when I bought it and you know I've been using it and punishing it every day for about three years. And um, it's now starting to show a lot of signs of age. Um, the, the scales are starting to, 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 to split and break. Um, I'll zoom the camera in really close and we'll have a really good look at the skins in a minute. Um, I, one or two people do say, well, you know, it's a very old item and uh, these items shouldn't be used every day. Um, I tend to not share that view. Um, most of the items in my life are old, from my house um, to my car and my furniture. Everything in my life is old and antique, and I don't sort of see any 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 any, any problem with using such things carefully every day. Of course, they degrade, but you know um, things are possible to restore. Um, when I show you close up uh, shots of this bag, you'll be surprised at quite how bad the condition is. But it's nothing to worry about. Um, Ideally, what we need to do, we need to have access to the back of these skins. It would be possible, it would be possible to sort of um, come through the gaps where the, where the skin is starting to separate. Um, it, it would, you could get a patch on the inside there, carefully poke it through. If that were an isolated incident, if it was, that was the only damage to the skin, I probably would, you know, just a little bit of, I think what I use, um, sh you know, cheap chamois leather, this is just, um, uh, get that thing off. This is just um, a very, very small, I've got four or five of these. I actually bought them from a local pound store, um, very cheap. Um, these are just offcuts um, from factories and they've, they've all been stitched together. Uh, they're a pound. Um, so I've got four or five of these. So I'm actually going to line the whole bag from, from, from behind, obviously, uh, you know, uh, all, all the way through. Um, this this quite strong, you know, there's a, there's a good amount of strength in a chamois, but it's extremely fine, very, very thin. Um, it won't be seen once it's inside. The disadvantage is I've got to remove the lining, which is quite a fiddle. That might take me half an hour or an hour or so. I, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll start that on camera, but I don't think we'll uh, fish around the whole lining on camera. So let's just have a look inside here. So it's still got the original lining. Um, somebody at some point has uh, been sticking and repairing this. It's all wrinkled and crinkled. It shouldn't be that way. Um, it should be a lot smoother. It could have been done in the 60s, I don't know. But um, that's definitely come unstuck and somebody's put that back in. Um, so I'm actually going to remove the whole lining all the way around. I don't want to be upsetting the edge of the skins. Um, there will be certainly some kind of padding. Once the lining comes out, there'll be some kind of wadding or padding or cards. I've no idea quite what condition those cards are going to be in. It would be nice to reuse them, but um, if I do need to replace them. Um, Artit's mountain board, you know, it's quite thin. Um, it's only about 2.53 mil thick. It's, it's fairly stiff and you can trim it to any size and shape. If I do need to replace the, 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 the lining, uh, the boards, the stiffening boards and padding, um, I'll do so. But I'm, I am hoping to be able to, to reuse the originals. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, because I'm working on my own, um, I, it's, it's a difficulty to keep refocusing and zooming in. So I'm actually going to uh, zoom the camera in very, very close. So you'll be able to see my hands and very close up to the skins. You'll be able to hear me talking, um, but you're not going to be able to see my face. So uh, we will uh, zoom in and continue. The, um, the handle's in rather bad condition. Um, as is usual with alligator or crocodile, the scales split. You can clearly see the splitting there. It's less obvious here because there's actually a piece of um, a piece of uh, skin has been forced at some point carefully through the through the split, and um, yeah, it's totally it's totally it's totally separated. It opens and closes the, you know, between the scales, but the scale itself hasn't ripped. It's just split between the scales, and it's the same on the back. Um, what I'll have to do is remove the, remove the handle. It's all, it's all stitched um, along this edge here, both sides. So I'll have to cut that stitching, remove the handle. 
and um, what I'll do is flatten out the uh, alligator skin and um, use the uh, use the chamois skin I showed you earlier to line it and that will you know increase the strength the the integrity will be returned and um, so the the weight and the strength will be sort of used it will be uh, used on the um, chamois rather than the actual alligator skins itself they will be become purely decoration um, but as I say to you, at some point I didn't do this somebody's actually carefully threaded just to um, just to hide the fact that it's splitting it's just a piece of skin it looks like a poultry skin to me but but certainly not there you can see that one very visibly so that'll be uh, that'll be entirely separate um, whichever bag um, whether it be a suitcase a briefcase or even a lady's handbag the handle designs are rather similar and um, it should be quite a useful little video that one for whether you've got a bag similar to this or something of an entirely different design the chances are the handle will be quite similar now then let's have a good look at these scales uh, as i've said to you the scales have started to separate uh, if i peel that back you can see quite how badly um, alligator and crocodile generally splits along the natural creases it very very rarely cuts itself through the actual scale itself um, it's, it looks horrendous, but it's not as difficult to repair as you would think if you can get access to the back of the skins. Um, because the, um, the, the, between each scale it's very, very wrinkly and the surface is extremely wrinkly. Um, as you, it lends itself very well to being repaired and restored. And as you push the scales back together again, um, it, obviously as you push it, it, it wrinkles, but it's already wrinkled. So the repairs tend to be rather well hidden. Um, you'll be surprised how, how, how well this will come out. Um, on regular sort of calf, you know, that was smoother, if it splits and you repair it, you can see the repairs. But on alligator and crocodile, it's very well hidden, purely because of the original texture, so, so wrinkly. Um, yeah, it's really bad in that corner there. The whole, the whole area has basically failed. Um, so the corners are pretty much the same. That one's starting to fail. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, this one's really bad. And likewise, yeah, it's just starting to fail here. So the, the long and short of it is I'm going to remove the entire lining and um, I'll line the whole bag with chamois. Um, the chamois will increase the, the integrity and it, any areas that haven't already broken, say for instance, these scales here and al along, along that joint where it's open and folding all the time, the bag's constantly folding. Given time, they will split and uh, yeah it's just about to split here yeah, it's definitely just about to split it hasn't done so but i'm going to reline the whole bag in the areas that are already split and the areas that are yet to split it's just a matter of time before the rest of it fails so um, yeah this this area here it looks perfect but if i, I can actually poke my finger inside look get my finger behind the scale both sides so i'm sure you can imagine once that's been patched from behind it will, it will, you know, and blended with moisturizers and polishers. Um, yeah, this is going to restore beautifully. Um, you won't really, you won't know that this skin was ever in horrendous condition. Okay, let's have a look inside. All right, we need to, we need to remove this lining and uh, I'm going to do it very carefully. Um, I don't want to be tearing the line. I certainly don't want to damage the skins any further than they're already damaged. Um, let's have a look. It's difficult to be ex absolutely sure what's happened here because it has been at some point somebody's been fiddling around trying to repair this. And I've got a, just got a chopstick here and I'm going to fish around um, with the chopstick where my fingers won't go. Let's just uh, turn this around so you get a better view. Um, yeah, just sort of carefully break the original glue seal with the chopstick. Um, yeah, there's the there's the alligator skin. Um, we don't want to be disturbing that, but I need to get this whole lining away. Let's have a look, are we losing any skin there? Tiny fragment of skin's broken away, but never mind. We can, uh, we can easily deal with that. So this, this is actually going to take some time. Yeah, it's got to be careful. It's uh, stuck quite well to the, um, to the alligator edge. Uh, I don't want to be damaging that. As I say to you, somebody's definitely been fiddling around with this at some point. And, um, you know, I would, I would imagine probably sometime in the 50s or 60s, the bag would have already been at least 60, 70 years old. The, the line has obviously sort of fallen out, the glue's failed, and uh, somebody's had a go at sticking it back in. To be fair, they've not done a very good job. Uh, they probably used the wrong adhesive. 
it's extremely um, it's extremely wrinkly you can see all these all these wrinkles in, inside the lining uh, this should be smooth not wrinkly um, once I get the, the lining out I should be able to um, I should be able to sort of smooth that out at least I hope so I'll, I'm, I'm fairly sure I'll be able to make a better job of, of putting it back in using a, a correct adhesive Ooh, there we go gotta be very careful um, whoever's done this has uh, used a lot of glue and uh, it's glued very very well to the edge of the uh, the alligator skin let me just come in here just got to do this with great care if I just pull it out if I just yank and pull it, it's going to split um, tiny bits of damage like this we can get away with uh, let's have a look I'm going to have a snip that got some old hairdressing scissors here just there we go that's it no problem so as I say to this is going to take quite some time and uh, I'm not going to do the whole lot on camera um, might take as much as 30 minutes, maybe an hour, I don't know. Um, it's, I've just got to go very carefully. And I'll just, uh, just take my time. I do need 100% access to the back of these skins. Okay, just uh, still, still carefully fishing away with the chopstick. Break. It is a fiddly old job, but um, I don't want to be rough with it. I'll definitely cause damage. Let's have a look. Oh, that one's coming out separately. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely got some adhesive on there that wasn't originally there. Somebody's, somebody's had a go at repairing this at some point. Let's have a look what we've got here. Just a case of slow. Early. That, that is the back of the, uh, it's the back of the skin, but it's, um, it's definitely got something on there. I'm not sure what it is. It feels like cotton cardboard actually or thick paper I'm not sure what's there what we got here okay we're gonna have to put a tiny little uh, oh yes it's um, it's been it's been stitched it's been stitched through there into this lining so I'm actually going to carefully cut that out I leave the original stitching in place Gosh, slightly awkward. But, uh, we should easily be able to put this back in when we've uh, done the structural repairs. <laughs> there we go. Slight saw it. There we go. We need it there. Okay, just use a use a knife here that's it there we go that gives you a good idea of, of um, what it looks like from behind um, there's definitely something's been uh, yeah these yeah these these fibrous pads have been glued at some point well probably originally actually were glued to the back of the alligator skins and then we've got the uh, the silk lining um, I will be separating entirely that silk lining from this fiber the fiber balls don't look too bad they're in reasonable condition I'll almost definitely be using these again um, but what I'll have to do really for the strength I'm going to be gluing chamois skin onto here then I will glue the fiber boards back in place and then finally the silk but I'll try and make a better job um, as I say to you this is going to take some time to go all the way through it's going to I think this is going to take me 30 40 minutes maybe even an hour to go all the way through and uh, just so that the whole thing's lifted out in as much of one piece as possible um, there's an awful lot of an awful lot of glue and muck on the inside this is all going to need to be scratched off very carefully um, not very interesting to watch on camera so just to uh, give you a sense now of what I'm, to, got, what I'm going to be doing, I will, uh, I'll pick all these pieces off. I'll do it off camera and we'll come back. If it was, um, if it was only the, these edges that were damaged, I'd be rather tempted to be leaving this, this section of the lining in place. Um, it, it, as I said, if it was only that side, we could fold, we could fold this down completely out of way, out of reach. 
and get to the get to the alligator skins from behind repair that section unfortunately um, these edges are in dreadful condition and I do need access to these sides there's a lot of sort of wadding and padding it's very stiff on um, both sides so I do need to move that out of the way um, let's have a look I'm not sure how it's going to come out I've never done this one before let's just oh gosh let's see uh, there's always a way let's just pull and hope for the best there we go yes that's coming up quite easily let's get my chopstick and just separate this edge oh there we go can you see that yeah that's it just poke away with my chopstick the alligator skin is is here it's, it's wrapped around so we don't want to be damaging that i've tried to press down rather than pull up if i pull up i'll be ripping away the skin the alligator skin so let's poke that's it that's coming away quite easily now that's it yeah no problem at all here come on that's it it's got something in what is that uh it's a metal plate yeah, there's a metal plate here held with what appears to be screws so um, I'll have to remove that metal plate so there are two or three screws here I didn't know they were there now that I've removed this part of the lining I can there we go yeah we can easily clean that up and uh, yeah we'll clean that up tidy it up and uh, pop it back in later but um, yeah we've definitely yeah there's a, there's a metal metal it is yeah it's definitely metal so i'm going to undo these three screws remove that remove that plate in one go and that should hopefully there's, there's definitely something behind the metal plate so um we'll come back so i've got a screwdriver here just undoing these um little tiny screws which i truthfully wasn't expecting to find this is the thing when you you strip an old item down you you take the uh, coverings off you don't know what's inside let's get this three screws out we don't want to be losing those so let's just put those uh, out of harm's way and this plate should slide out let's have a look what's holding that there we go ah. come on it's slightly awkward there we go that's it yeah it's just a bit of a uh, bit of tin plate rather crudely um, you know crudely covered with crocodile so ah now wood there's wood inside here which I really wasn't expecting to find so that will have to come out too goodness me this is crude let's have a look yeah just a piece of uh, it's not been uncovered since what the 1880s so we'll pop the wood out of the way and are we through to these skins There's something on the skin um, it's kind of yeah deteriorated board um, it's, 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 it's I'll, I'll have to replace this with artist mountain board I've got some somewhere so I think I'm gonna have to because it's been repaired at some point in the, in the in the past probably 40 or 50 years ago and the glue is very hard I do need to get whatever this board is I need to get all of that off so that I can get good access to the rear of the skins that's going to be quite a fiddle and I will need to what's this uh, not sure what that is um, piece of skin I'm not sure but the alligator skins are glued along the edge I'm going to have to very very carefully unglue that edge peel the skin back um, you yeah, just need really good access gosh this is stiff I should perhaps I won't it might be simply too well adhered and in that case I just have to fish this um, fish this uh, fibrous board whatever it is it's got to come off there's no way of leaving that in place if we're going to successfully patch from behind I've got to there we go I can get my fingers right in there where in the corner where it's broken it's just rubbish it's totally degraded 
it's not cut, it's not helping any structure, any 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 integrity of the bag here. But difficulty is getting it off without wrecking any further the alligator skins. But it's it's all got to go. Thank you for watching. I hope you do, I do hope you've enjoyed this um, this beginning of this series. I'm Lee Morrison, and thank you for watching Bespoke Edit YouTube channel.